Hello, this is Dr. Liu at Li Time. This video I will talk about the three key questions about hydrosol and uh, its quality control. If you start to make your own hydrosol or using the fresh made hydrosol, or you want to run your hydrosol business, and these are the three key questions you want to find out the answer and keep practicing. So the three questions, the first one is uh, how to store hydrosol. So how to, after make the hydrosol, what bottle we should choose and how to store them. The second question is how to tell if a hydrosol go bad. So after a certain time of uh, the storage, you want to make sure the hydrosol is still good to use. So how do you tell? if they are bad. Last one is when we are started using hydrosol, we collect a lot of bottles after we use them, a lot of uh, empty bottles. So how can we reuse the bottle? What are the rules we should follow so as to keep the bottle is good for the next round of uh, hydrosol storage? The reason I recommend like a fresh made because a fresh made has very strong potency. You make a small batch fresh made hydrosol and consume them all quickly, like let's say like within a month, and then you have your second batch. Just in case if you have saved them for a longer time, there are two points are very important. The first one, you gotta use a very good sanitize the bottle. So the bottle is super important. Hydrosol has a pretty good antioxidants, even antibacteria, uh, especially oregano, lavender, sage. Those are pretty good uh, antibacteria, but they are not supposed to use to kill bacteria. So they can keep their own healthy when they are storage. So if you are using a contaminated bottle, either the bottle is used or when you uh, storage them, like a, uh, transport them from one bottle to the other bottle, you use the bare hands or dirty hands, you uh, touch the, the bottle, especially the mouth of the bottle, so you may introduce some bad germs into it. So that can cause the hydrosol go bad when the uh, during the storage. So the first one, use a good sanitized bottle. The second one, either amber or dark blue color. So I'm using the dark blue and amber, the glass bottle. So it's better than the plastic bottle because the fresh made hydrosol contains certain small amount of uh, the essential oil. Essential oil is not good to the plastic so you want to use a glass bottle well you still have uh, those uh, sprayer little tube but we already eliminate most of the plastic this hydrosol can touch so that's the best thing we can do so and then the storage you want to have a good stable temperature environment like an indoor it's a perfect or even you want to put in the uh, refrigerator, it's, uh, you can do that, but not uh, actually necessary. The, these two hydrosol has been stored in this original bottle for over a year. They are super good. They are still very good to use. One way to check the quality of the hydrosol is a cloudy test. You just uh, put the bottle in front of the light and check. If you see some like a big particles and here is an example you see there are a chunk of like a cotton shape saying that's the mold it grow in this hydrosol. So cloudy test is the first way and then the other way is you test the smell of the hydrosol. When it's hydrosol go bad, the smell 
it's original like a flower smell it disappear you change into kind of a similar smell for all of those bad hydrosol hydrosols it's uh, very interesting so you don't have your original flower smell anymore and the third way is uh, you do a small skin batch test that just be careful because uh, it has a high chance the hydrosol already have a mold so you may have a irritate irritate your skin so you just put on your arm or, or whatever place you think you can tolerate and just a tiny bit of one spray and you feel if you feel like a irritation that means totally bad so don't use it anymore we keep using the hydrosol and there are a lot of bottles there so can we reuse them yes you can the key point is you have to have a good sanitization on these bottles today i'm showing you one of the way you can do it at home um, for industry it's uh, they have a special equipment they do the high temperature sanitization but uh, at home we can use uh, some uh, simple like uh, kitchenware to uh, sanitize the bottle so when we clean our used bottle um, first you check if there is a mold for these two bottles they already have a mold I won't use it I just uh, recycle them uh, throw it away and for the other uh, the good bottles the first thing is uh, clean it uh, just uh, dump the any uh, the hydrosol in it and then rinse it the second step is uh, we are putting the, the water in the pot we're going to uh, boil them if you can remove the sticker that will be the best uh, if you cannot that's okay I use a small pot to demonstrate so it's uh, easier for me um, but when you uh, do the uh, the boiling so you can use a large pot and put all your bottle in and now we turn on the heat uh, to uh, boil it for all of those uh, plastic pieces I prefer just uh, uh, replace them and um, I wouldn't use them anymore um, because those are plastic and uh, it's also it's hard to uh, sanitize um, all the place inside the tubing and especially the sprayer and I will use a new one there are vendors they sell just the spray and so just uh, buy the spray While boiling the sticker will fall off uh, to clean the the residue glue uh, use a uh, 91% alcohol it's pretty good now um, so the second step to sanitize is uh, soak the pour the alcohol the rubbing alcohol into the bottle and soak it do the second round uh, disinfection just fill it up with the alcohol and let it sit for 30 seconds that's the time 
the alcohol work and a cure curia or any residue of the germs in there. So after 30 seconds, use the same alcohol in the pour it in the second bottle. Uh, use a little funnel can help. Uh, So now this bottle is uh, sanitized. It's good for the next use. Just uh, let it dry and then save in a good container for your the next use. So you can document the procedure you use to sanitize a bottle from uh, sitting in the boiling water for 5 minutes and then soak with uh, rubbing alcohol for 30 seconds and then air dry. Uh, keep documentation. It's uh, very important to make uh, you at least you know you know where what you will do. It's like a cooking recipe. So what you will do in the next time, and also very important for those uh, friends who consider to sell the products of a hydrosol. So you will follow your the procedure and documented procedure it's a part of uh, the GMP the good manufacturing process and this can help you make a better quality control